We are in the garden with Nick Fedorov talking sustainable ways to water your lawn. Nick, what yeah, are you doing? Yeah, yeah, hold on a second. Oh, we're on. We're on. <laughs> we are on. The red light is on, my friend. Well, I'm saving money over here. That's important oh, to do well, this. Well, don't <laughs> let me interrupt you. Gosh. You know, we're in the one of the worst droughts known in history, and it's really important for us to be smart about placing the water strategically. See, it's not, not about using it. Yeah. We can use it. We sure. just have to be smart about using it. And I'm saying that word smart for a very specific reason, because today we're going to talk about smart irrigation. And when you have an EPA WaterSense certified irrigation system to help you do this, we're talking sustainability, we're talking saving water, we're talking saving money on top of that. And who doesn't like to save a couple we bucks? We like to hear that. Yeah. Yes. So here we have a beehive. And uh, this one right here, this beehive is a smart indoor outdoor sprinkler timer and it can operate up to 16 different stations. Most people have five or six. You're getting banged for your bus. Yeah, so you can add if you want to, which is really kind of cool. Okay. Now, this one is, is designed specifically for uh, uh, underground systems. So when you have sprinkler heads that are sticking out mm -hmm. you, and you can't see the pipes, that's okay. an underground system. You'll always see two kind of different valves, either valves that are sticking out like this. These are anti-siphon valves, or you'll have valves that are actually set in a box in the ground like this. And the last thing we want you to do is to start monkeying around with all these different wires right, right here. You'll get totally confused. But what you'll do is you're going to remove your old timer and then you're going to take the main feed and put it through the sprinkler control box over here and really simply just pull a lever down, those plug up. it in. You might not even need hardly any tools to get this whole thing done. Then what you do is you get yourself the app and the app is going to just walk you through through the steps on how you're supposed to set up your garden. And well, do you know anything about weather? I do. I do like you? to think that I do. <laughs> you're a meteorologist, aren't you? I am. Yeah, I can't even pronounce that what hurting you my tongue. You got it. You got it. <laughs> well, what you're doing is you're becoming your own little meteorologist because it's, this thing is going to be talking to the weather in your yard. You're going to tell it what kind of lawn you have, what kind of plants, and it's going to help you decide how much water to go on. It's going to tell you the best times to water and when to water. And the best part is, is that if you decide you want to override this thing, you can override it. Now, the other thing is this. There's a lot of rules and regulations that are coming out, and it's so every week it mind -boggling. seems like a new one. It really yes. is, and it seems like it might. It's going from from bad to worse. So you have to check with your local water agency to find out. Some people are, are allowed to water uh, every other day. Yeah. Some people are two times a week. Some people are just uh, once a week, and it's only hand watering. And that's where this really comes in handy because this is the only app-driven uh, watering device that I have seen that works off a hose. That's pretty exciting. And how convenient, just on your phone? It really is. You can sit on your couch? Yeah, <laughs> you can. And here we have a good example of what we can do where we take a, uh, here at the thingsgreen.com uh, botanical gardens, we actually abandoned all of our in-ground sprinkler systems so that we could pay attention to what's going on and strategically place that water. So we'll take and we'll use uh, sprinkler systems. You just hook it up through your hose okay. onto this, and it's just that simple. By the way, this comes in the one, two, and four models. And you can get this oh. stuff over at Lowe's. It's really cool. This is also so neat because not only is it app driven, but if you don't want to use your apps, that's okay. Override it. Override it. You have a knob and it tells you everything that you have. Set the time, set the thing, how long, how often. This is so cool. So orbit.com, orbitonline.com I should say, is really a great place to get this information, to put it in your yard and garden. If you want more information, come to my website, thingsgreen.com. Shall we water? Please. Let's water. <laughs> to get more green, more money and more grass. Yeah. <laughs>